Hi, it's going. It's doing good. Uh, I. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. I don't. I've never landed here before. Jeff did this. Do I have to slow down? Do I just? Do I just land? What happens? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna press anything. I don't know what the fuck's happening. We're coming in. Kind of hot. Kind of hot. Okay, we're here. That wasn't so bad. Let's grab that out. I remember Jeff having a problem with this. Where it like sunk into the world or something. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful little little pod. I love it. Oh gosh. Let's break it. Oh. Okay. Get off of my get off of my thing. This is my thing. Only I can have it. Is he hitting me from as he floats away, that motherfucker? <laughs> Go away. This is my thing. Oh, you bastard, you get off of my thing. Alright. This is my little rocket pad. Look at my rocket pad. It is amazing. So there's not really a lot of a point to this area, to be honest with you guys. Like some of these, uh, some of these, these asteroids have stuff in them, but you gotta get really lucky to find anything you want. <laughs> I ran into that. What the fuck's going on here? Hey, what are you? Hey, stop that. Stop being, stop being you. Man, look at the mobs down there. Um, come here. Alright, I want to dig through this one, see if we get lucky. What kind of ore was that? What'd you call me? Ilmenite? Il Ilmenite? Oh, that's, that, that's where titanium comes from, I guess. I've never seen that before. Yeah, so all the asteroids seem to have like a dense pocket of some kind of ore. Or the majority of them seem to have some kind of dense pocket of some kind of ore inside of them. Like this one we got lucky with, uh, titanium. Or unlucky, I don't know. Um, the best one is the one that has uh, blocks of meteoric iron. That's what I was hoping to find, because then I was going to give Justin and Co. Um, all the meteoric iron they could ever need uh, to go to Mars and whatnot. I had a gin and tonic for the first time the other night. You would think, like, I love gin, and you would think I would have... I've always hated tonic water. Always. Just not, not, not a thing I'm a fan of. But, um, was at a high school reunion with my wife, and, um, everyone was drinking, and I felt, I felt so left out. I had to socially drink, you know? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm out of inventory room. Um, and so... They had the stuff there for gin and tonic, and I was like, ah, that's, that's what I'll drink. And, yep, that's what I drank. I did it. <laughs> All right, so where we left off last stream, we started tearing down this area, um, and we didn't get very far. We tore down basically one house over here, 
um, which the grass has grown there now. The grass is beautiful. And we started tearing down this thing. We're going to... I thought I saw something. I'm losing my mind. Um, Leaky Starfish is asking about Doc's reactor. Uh, apparently it exploded. Well, not apparently. I knew it exploded. Let's talk about that a little bit. So I'm of the opinion, and Doc's going to hate me for saying it. I've already told Doc, but uh, he's going to hate me for saying it to you guys. But I'm of the opinion, if you play with fire, you might get burned. Um, and so when this happened... Doc, uh, Doc asked for us to restore the server, um, which reminds me, I should, uh, I should look at something here. So, so yeah, uh, Doc's thing blew up, and he asked me to restore a backup. You'll notice I just changed the backup timer. When I changed the server reboot timer to be four hours, see, I'm used to cron, cron tabs. So the backups weren't running anymore, because I changed the server to reboot every four hours, and the backups were set to six. I was thinking of it like a cron tab, like 24 hours divided by four, or divided by six, or whatever. It'll run on those intervals. Um, but it's it's based on server uptime. So six hours, the servers reboot every four hours, or whatever, reaching six hours. So we didn't have any backups since the 28th when I changed the reboot times. So as a result, um, when Doc was like, hey, restore this, I was like, hey, I can't. And ain't got it. Um, and I couldn't roll back everyone's things just because Doc's thing blew up. Um, so... We, we, everyone agreed that he should be allowed to have a, a restoration. Even though I was a little bit like, eh, you play fire, you might get burned. <laughs> I'm still kind of, still kind of there on that. Doc, Doc won't agree with me and he'll get mad at me for saying it, like I said. Um, but, uh, you know, Doc says that he didn't do anything wrong and that someone must have fucked with it or something. I don't really know what happened. I believe him. I believe that's what happened. I believe that, you know, something, something went... He test. He said he tested it. Doc's kind of got this thing where that happens a lot to him, though. Like, uh, uh, God, the number of times he's had things just go go wrong in these situations. You know, um, this is not the first time this poor man has uh, has has suffered. I mean, look back at his bunker or whatever. So, anyways, uh, we we did restore it. We we gave Doc his his things back again. Um, but today he asked me to change the config to if if it explodes it doesn't actually blow anything up and that's where I was just like man I don't think that should be the way it should be I really I'm against this change I don't think I don't think we should do that and so I I, I said I'm not making this decision on, on by myself it's not up to me to decide this it's up to everyone on the server I'm not the dictator I know I don't I'm not the dictator um, <laughs> So I said it's up to everyone else to make this kind of decision, and um, it seems like we're not going to do that. But it's still not; it's still kind of being debated. So, um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But that's kind of where I'm like, eh. I think, I think, I think we should we should keep. I mean, it, I think it comes with risks. For me, what I would do if I was Doc, if I was gonna, um, if I was gonna build such a such a destructive device. I would put it somewhere not in the center of my base, maybe. And I told him what I would do if I was him is go on up to space and uh, and put it, you know, make a make a space station and stick it up there. Um, so yeah, I am not allergic to bees. I remember the first time I had ever done like a little marathon at my school. It was like a biking marathon, um, and like one of the last laps, I decided I wasn't gonna bike it anymore. I was gonna run it like a crazy person. Um, I don't know why I decided this is what I was going to do, but, uh, so I ran, like, one of the last laps of the thing, it was like, I don't know, I was like, I was like eight or nine or something, and, uh, <laughs> as I come around, I'm, like, exhausted, I'm so tired, and I, uh, I collapse on the ground, that was the first time I'd ever been stung by a bee, I, like, landed on his ass, and he stung the shit out of me, and, um, that's when I learned. I remember everyone freaking out because I didn't know back then. I was just a little kid. I didn't know that there was this crazy bee allergy thing that, you know, I could die any second sort of thing. And so everyone's freaking out. Oh, my God, is he allergic to bees? Is he allergic to bees? You know, me not knowing that I may be in need of an EpiPen or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I was okay. I lived. I went yesterday and picked blueberries, though, and it's a little bit late in the season. Uh, to be to be doing such a thing, and so a lot of them were kind of they got too much sun, and uh, there um, there was a lot of yellow jackets and stuff like with their whole heads like inside the blueberries on the bush just munching down. 
It was, uh, it was adorable. What should I make this out of? What should I make this this hammer out of? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make it out of Constantine or whatever the fuck it's called. Constantan, Tantan, Constantan. I am Brian. Excited about Eric Hutchinson's new album coming out this month. I I've not had a listen to it yet though. So um, so why does everyone always say Cobalt? I ain't got no Cobalt. I ain't a man man of the Cobalts. I don't think I have any Cobalt. Let's just double check. Oh, I do have two Cobalt ore. That is probably not enough. I ain't got no manual. So, so what you're all saying is Constantine. I agree. That's a good idea. That's what we're going to make it out of. All right. Here we are. Here we are. So is this asking me what I'm seeing or what I prefer, dawn or dusk? This is totally dusk. This is not dawn. Right? Right? Is that what it's asking me? It's asking me what I see? I think it is. I think it is. Not what I prefer. Troll's going berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the, the Troll's Club if you could? First, a nearby perfected cure for dragon pox. Then, student records going back a hundred years or a thousand years. Finally, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. How do I select? All right, yeah. First, okay. Yeah, those are the those are the orders right there. All right. Um, I which do I prefer? Oh well, okay. I got the first one. Well, eh, dusk is good. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, after you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you, but smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me. I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Yeah. yeah there we go. Um, you and your friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let all of you pass. Do you? A tip to confuse and troll into letting you three of you pass without fighting. Suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Volunteer to fight. What was the first one again? Yeah, there we go. That's the one. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The violin, the trumpet, the piano, the drum. I'll tell you the trumpet. All right. Um, which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, mer people, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls? Well, totally centaurs. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? I mean, there's a lot of options here. A cat. Siamese, oh wait, okay, tabby cat, Siamese cat, Siamese cats, I don't like, I don't like a Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl, common toad, natterjack toad, dragon toad, heroquin toad, three toad tree toad, three, three toad, oh my god, three toad, Tree toad. That's hard to say. I said it right, but I feel like I said it wrong every time. Um, I think a brown owl. I think brown owl is what I'm going to go with here. I'm going back up to see the cat options here. I always liked. I had this ginger cat when I was younger that I would carry around. He just like strolled up here. Yeah, brown owl is what I'm going to go with. Left or right? What kind of question is that? Um, all right, we're gonna go right. Oh well, there you have it, everybody. Hufflepuff, it is. I think we all, uh, I think we all, we all guessed it, and we were right. So um, we had our uh, our weekly uh, server server meet, uh, Minecraft meeting, um, and uh, I brought up the fact that. Uh, 
we agreed not to do the chunk loading thing, and everyone just built and built different types of chunk loaders. And it was funny because someone was like, "Can we just do a week where we test it without chunk loaders?" Like, that's what the fuck we were supposed to be doing. Um, and uh, so, anyways, I'm I'm tired of this. Is what I am. Um, I uh, I'm going to disable the uh, the the chunk loaders in the config files. Um, completely. Uh, so, there will be no more chunk loaders. They're going away. Because um, that's the only way I know to actually do it to make people stop loading chunks. Like, the server was great for um, like almost a week after, after I disabled the other chunk loaders. But then everyone built chunk loaders, so it didn't matter anymore. It's like, uh, you guys, would you rather have a server that actually runs, or would you like to load some chunks for a temporary? It's like people choose temporary, temporary enjoyment out of over long-term enjoyment, and it frustrates the fuck out of me. Um, so yeah, we've all agreed that uh, chunks are going away, but not tonight because Doc needs to figure out his shit first, and he already had plans for the night. Um, so. Tomorrow I will be disabling the 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 uh, world loaders. Um, the uh, Railcraft has personal loaders that still work. They'll work when you you place them down and they load the chunk you're in when you place them, and they continue to keep that chunk loaded while you're online. Uh, so if if you if you log out or whatever, then then they stop working. Um, so that seems reasonable to me. Like, if you need to do something, you need to go to the nether and do a thing or whatever, um, that's fine. Does this not work? Can I not make this bitch faster? Does it not have any modifiers? It has no modifiers. It's without a modifier. I give this one more time. If it if I get DC'd one more time, I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna keep rejoining the server over and over again. Um, I can't. I just can't. I don't have the patience for it. I'm so sorry. I just can't. I don't have it. I don't have the the willpower in my body to keep doing it over and over again. I mean, what you're saying, guy with a blue name that I can't see because the fucking so it's like you have to choose. Like you get you get the white background, you can't see what the fuck people are saying because it's lime green, and then you can choose the black background, you can't see what the fuck people are saying because or their name because it's dark blue. Well, dark blue guy that says uh, it's because Minecraft's garbage, not because chunk loaders. Here's the thing. Yes, Minecraft is is, is garbage. Sure, it's written in a way that uh, it causes things to lag out or whatever. But the more you tax it, the more it's gonna break. So the more you load chunks, the more you're gonna fuck yourself right in the anus. So you're wrong <laughs> and right at the same time, but you're. You get the point. I give up. I totally give up. Let's fuck off with some Minecraft. I give up. I can't do it, man. I just can't do it.